Welcome to Angling for You. Today you're driving me at Rustic's Pond and uh, what we're going to do is uh, a little bit of uh, blended corn and pellet fishing up close. Uh, it's a method you can, you can fish down the edge, you can fish um, up to islands, anywhere really and it's such a simple uh, method. Corn itself, I, I tend to buy uh, frozen corn uh, to blend because it's got a high water content and blends easier. So what we'll do is just run it through a processor um, until it's broken up into sort of this slot that you can see here, and then we feed. Um, I fed two cab pots, half full with this, and half full with uh, uh, hard number fours. And uh, what we do is alternate um, the little cab pots that we have on the on the pole to uh, to feed your line in front of you or wherever you're fishing up to. The rig that we've got is um, O15 main line down to a little uh, sh shallow style uh, margin float. Um, it's a point three, and we've got uh, the main bulk of a shot underneath uh, the hook, underneath the uh, the body of the float. Um, that floats completely in line. Uh, that runs down to two uh, two uh, number tens, which are just above the hook link, and the hook link is O13 down to a size 16, and with a, a little dropper. Um, about two inches from there and that's simple nice and straight through and uh, we've got a pink midi um, hollow and that's uh, 10, to, 10 to 14 so you know we can make anything up from a pound up to double figure uh, and we're going to fish top section plus one in front of us so it's just a good way of fishing uh, in summer and in close in and getting those fish feeding in close, you can do some big weights. And we're just going to fish uh, a single uh, corn on the hook. You could use um, expander pellets if you want as well. Uh, that's, you know, that's obviously not a problem. Um, and we've already fed, so I'm not going to put anything in. Um, I'm going to put my cad pot on top in a minute um, after we've had maybe a fish or two, uh, and we'll give it a go. So, like I said, it's just. Top kit plus plus one section, and just when you're fishing, it's just like a margin fishing. I'm fishing up island, just lower the rig in, gentle. I just try not to lay that on the top of any fish. Do a fish now. It's a reasonable size fish. When you're fishing these uh, elevated pegs, just make sure you give yourself a, a long, a long landing net handle, and remind yourself that you're a little bit higher up. Nice little ghost to cat to start with. Perfectly in the top lip. Love a little, little fish to start off with. That's it. We'll get him back, see if we can. Look, another one. Now what I'm going to show you is people use various different uh, cab pots uh, to put on the top of the poles. I like the, uh, the little Preston ones, um, and that, that's just my sort of preference. Um, but I'll show you how these. Obviously, a lot of them just press on. Now these these ones are a bit different, so you just push those on. And stretch the elastic. And when you stretch the, stretch the elastic thin, like so, it pushes into the gap of that, and then it holds it on. And it's going nowhere. And the benefit of fishing uh, this way is, um, with a cab pot, is obviously that you can ship out to long distances and be very accurate with your feeding. Obviously, today we could throw it in, but again, I don't want to make a widespread. I'm wanting to. You know, fish quite 
over the top and I want to, uh, to maybe loose feed the pellets over a little bit but the main sweet corn and I want to drop down as sort of a bulk and then I may, depending on how many fish I catch them, I may move on to, to um, cab potting a bit more extra in uh, if, the, if I feel that there's that they're eating quite a bit of bait. Into another fish again. Only a small fish, but it's a great little, uh, little way of bagging fast. Ghost and mirror. Another fish now feels a little a bit bigger than the last one, but not still not a massive fish. But we're not it's not the sort of uh, venue that's full of ginormous fish. Is this one? Nice little cat. Sort of the main, um, the, the main reason for sort of, you know, these kind of methods and why they're so good is it's an instant attraction when you get that corn scent in the water. It uh, just sort of gives off sort of a haze what the, the fish absolutely, absolutely love and to get them in short is obviously a big advantage for speed and every time you, you're fishing um, in, in, on venues that you know are well stocked or have a good head of carp in it it can uh, be a seriously devastating method this one
in it. A little bit better fish this time. So a little bit, a little bit better stamp. Um, but you, you do tend to uh, to single out those uh, bigger fish. Um, and so uh, we've just fed that edge uh, down the side. It's uh, starting to scrub up nicely. We've fed it with the slop and the uh, and the pellet. So just shot on the rig, obviously fishing on the on the upslope. straight away not the not the size you're looking for but sure there'll be a few, it's not a bad size sure there'll be a few bigger ones down there let's get them back let's get, let's get straight back out and see if we can do another fish again See, even though we're fishing in really shallow water, we're not, we're not, we're not foul looking these fish because we're pulling it up that slope, really steady. It's allowing them to just suck the corn and without dropping it on the red. It's a good fish now. Been scrubbing in this, in this edge. It's not a massive fish, but it's, uh, it's a bit better stamp than what we've been catching. There we go. And then that's a little bit better. A little bit better stamp fish. Getting back. I hope this uh, video has been helpful. Um, it's quite a deadly method fishing there. Uh, on any type as you've seen, fishing it short, fishing it down the edge. We're uh, we'll fishing to the island today, but it's a bit, a bit windy for that. Um, come join us on the Facebook group, on the YouTube. Like and subscribe. Join us on Instagram, underscore for you. And uh, that's a lot.